Greetings to all our viewers. You're watching India Inc.'s Dream Budget right here on NDTV Profit. Today, the sector in focus is information technology. Lots has been spoken about this sector as to how it's a big growth driver. Just to give you a detail, the global IT spending for the year 2012 is expected to grow by about 3.7%. That's the slowest that we're going to be seeing in the last three years. Now, with our own Indian IT industry being at about $88 billion, it faces a considerable amount of risk. Everyone is now pinning their hopes on the union budget and what the finance minister can dole out on the 16th of March. Joining me today in this discussion, I have with me Mr. V. Balakrishna, the CFO at Infosys Technologies. I've got with me Mr. Sonjay Anand, the CFO at Tech Mahindra, as well as Mr. Amrish Das Gupta, ED at PwC India. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining me on this discussion. Bala, let's start off with you. Your first take on what the finance minister could do for the sector. No, I think uh, looking at the fiscal situation of this country, uh, I don't think uh, we can expect any big tax uh, sops from the government. But I think there is a case for extending the tax benefit for smaller companies. The industry wants certainty in the tax laws because if you look at the current situation, there are a lot of uh, disputes happening between the department and the industry because the department is interpreting some of it uh, more negative to the industry. For example, there is a circular number 70 issued by the Commerce Ministry, which gives some flexibility in operations for SEZ uh, uh, companies, but the tax department is taking a opposite view. So I think on a larger uh, view, I think the industry wants certainty in tax laws. They want government to clarify some of this so that we can reduce the litigation. And second, for smaller companies, I think looking at the environment what we are in, there is a case for continuance of uh, tax benefit so that it will allow them to prosper in a difficult time and grow uh, bigger. Sanjay, uh, you know, tax clarity is something that almost every sector has asked for. There's a lot of ambiguity. Uh, particularly from the IT point of view, the tax holiday, you know, which expired in April, of 2011 on the the software technology park a bit which was expired on april 2011 that is expected to come back i mean that is something that would help revive and help the growth quite a bit i i personally don't expect the stpi to come back uh, however i think uh, you know going along the thread of uh, bringing clarity on the administration side uh, today even for the past uh, STPI benefits are being denied on one pretext or the other, some very, very technical uh, kind of arguments. I think these are the things which need to be sorted out. We are seeing similar issues on transfer pricing um, and, and a number of other areas that I could tell you. So I think on the administration side, it is critical that we have clarity. Reintroduction of STPI as a benefit, given the kind of fiscal challenges we have, I would be surprised. Uh, I, I don't disagree with Bala for uh, uh, yeah, small emerging companies. I think uh, it's an important thing for us to do. But if you ask me whether I expect that to happen at this point of time, I would be surprised if it does. Uh, and the other point, of course, which is very important is consistency and predictability. Um, you know, the, the entire SEZ uh, policy uh, as it was articulated based on which people made investments, I think we must remain true to it. And uh, at, at this point, I don't think we're there. But uh, Amrish, clearly everyone's now been talking about, uh, you know, the small and medium businesses uh, being given that, Philip, because some of them are still struggling at the footing. So you need government backing. Apart from the incentivization from the taxation perspective, I think there are other steps which government may also think of taking. IT industry contributes so heavily to our GDP, so heavily to our employment, that needs definitely a kind of protection. And I'm also not expecting that in the perspective of the present economic crisis that the world is going through, India possibly is also going through and may go through, that the government really can dole out a huge Benefit, benefits and fiscal measures and policies to incentivize this. But on the other hand, to really create a more channel for their revenue earning, what I would suggest is 
that the government should encourage either through some policy or through some mandates much more adoption of technology. So, incentivization as regards creating an environment where technology will be more used, technology creation will be more encouraged through certain fiscal benefits and investments. That would be another wish list which I will have in addition to the taxation benefits which they may give. And to your question on small and medium enterprises, there are a large number of small and medium enterprises who are playing very heavily in niche technology. Now, they may be sometimes working, keeping in mind the export market, but they do not have a major consumer in the domestic environment. Now, the government really needs to see that how a large domestic market can be created through appropriate incentivization of the usage of those technologies. That will give some protection and incentivization to the small and medium enterprises. The NDTV news app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news, and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.